Linda Summerton here, hello. Um, so you want to leave your abusive relationship but there are children involved. I strongly suggest that you watch my video on the trauma bond and also on how to leave a, an abusive relationship. Um, when you leave a toxic relationship and there are children involved, it becomes a bit more difficult as you have to look out for your children's safety as well as your own. Talk to trusted neighbors. If you have a neighbor that you can trust, but make sure you can trust them, talk to them about what you're experiencing and also about what you're planning to do. But be very, very careful. Make sure you can trust this person. Together, identify a code or a signal that you can use when you need help. Not, not if, because if you're in a, an abusive relationship, you will. So it's when. You will need help. Decide together what the neighbor's next step would be if you use that word or signal. Like for instance, calling the emergency services or picking up your kids. Teach your kids how to get help. Make sure your kids know that they should never try to help you in any type of violent situation. The boys always want to help mom. Talk to them about the importance of safety and talk to them about the importance of safely leaving the house and going to the neighbors or to the family member that you know you can trust. I cannot emphasize this enough, trust. If your children are obviously old enough, discuss these tactics with them. Teach them how to call the emergency services as well. When there are children involved, you would obviously want to leave and take them with you. That may often not be possible. You may have to leave on your own and come back later for them. Let's, so that's why you need the backup plan in place with the neighbor so that the kids understand, okay, mom is left now, what do we do? You should prepare them. And they must not talk to the abuser about the plan either. <laughs> so um, let's assume you can all get away together. That would be wonderful. So in your stash bag, you will need essentials that will not be missed for the children as well. Their school bags will need to be taken along. So start encouraging your children to keep all books, etc. In, in their bags and all the important things together in one place. When you are leaving, you will not have time to, to look for the favorite teddy. You won't have time to search for things. So it has to all be together in one place so that you can literally grab and go. In the unfortunate event that you have to leave alone, and I know you want to avoid this at all costs, but if you have to leave alone and your children is left behind. This is what you must do. You get away as quickly as possible with all your preparations intact. You drive or run to the nearest police station. Again, know the quickest route beforehand. There you will present the police with all the evidence that you've saved and make a statement and immediately apply for an interim protection order. If this happens during the night, you will have to wait for the court to open, but the police are usually very helpful and will take care of you. If you are concerned about the children's safety, you can ask the police to escort you back to fetch the children. Remember to mention your fears about your children's safety in your statement as well. Not just tell the police, write it down in your statement and also in the application for the interim protection order. You will receive a court date for the interim protection order to be replaced by a protection order with a warrant of arrest attached to the protection order. Guard that thing with your life. 
You will know best if you can ask the judge to have the abuser removed from this shared dwelling or if you should find alternative accommodation. Now if you choose to go back to the shared dwelling and he, the abuser, it may be a she as well, the abuser is removed, you will have to replace all of the outside locks that very same day. If, if there are any burglar proofing broken, you will have to fix it that day as well. You will have to restrict your children from playing outside. It's just too dangerous. They could be snatched while playing outside. If you choose alternative accommodation, if you know it's not safe, it's never going to work, if you and your children go back to the shared dwelling, then the, the same safety rules still apply for your children's safety. The abuser is probably going to figure out where you live. If you can, try to have wooden doors replaced with steel ones and install a security system if you can. You also may want to consider motion sensor lights that come on anytime somebody comes near your home. This will just help deter the abuser from hiding in the shadows and waiting for you. You have to alert the school or schools of your situation. You have to inform the schools of this very very volatile situation I cannot stress this it's not something that you can keep secret abusive people will come to the school to take the children without your permission and the schools will allow this if they don't know any better the children will be taken and held as an excuse to see you once this happened the situation has escalated to a very very dangerous situation Show the interim protection order to the school so that they understand why the abuser may not take the children and also ask them to notify the police if anything should happen immediately. So do not be afraid to get the police involved, to get the school involved. When you have left, you're in danger. You're in danger while you stayed as well. But now you're going to break the dangerous cycle. Please tell your co-workers and your boss about the abuse and also um, the action that you have taken because you know our work suffer because of the abuse. Um, you haven't been thinking clearly so now at least your boss will understand why uh, things were such a, such a mess. It is important that your co-workers and your boss know that you have just left a dangerous relationship. Should the abuser come to your work, your co-workers will know that the situation is probably going to escalate. Let them know as much for your safety as for theirs. They will also then be able to contact the police. Leaving is never easy. Staying away is much harder. I encourage you to watch my video on the trauma bonding and again I know I said it in the beginning but please watch it again so that you understand remember that if you have a little bit of faith in yourself the size of a mustard seed you can leave for good and if you see this sign it is somebody saying that they are being abused domestically. Please help if you can or notify someone. Please help. So as always, I leave you with this thought. Have faith. Be strong and courageous. You can live for good.